Today we're looking at Punk from Hasbro's 112 Fortnite action figure line. This figure comes with four accessories including the bash burner harvesting tool, an extra bat that's kind of cool but also a little bit bent. Then we get the squash bats back bling and this will actually hold the bats, I'll show you that in just a moment. We get an assault rifle with a wrap that I don't recognize. Could this be the heat wrap? I'm not quite sure, but I guarantee you this is not the pumpkin wrap, which is part of his set. Is it the carving crew set? I don't quite remember what the punk set is, but it looks like Hasbro for some reason wanted to save a little bit of money and not add green because just adding some green to this assault rifle would have made an awesome looking pumpkin wrap. A quick glance at the front of the box and the back of the box shows you there's not a whole lot except for some really cool artwork and a computer render on the back. Now I want to show you this back bling. I think this is actually pretty cool. So with this bat here, if you want, you could just slide it in like so to have it hold in. This one, however, you can't do that. So they've done something pretty cool and that is they've created little peg straps so you can open these up and slide in the bat. Actually, I turn that around. Let's do it this way. Slide the bat in like that. That way the bat doesn't slide in or out, and I think that's actually pretty awesome. However, based off of these straps, there's a larger hole strap at the bottom, a shorter, a smaller hole strap at the top. So that means you would probably, and based off of how this one is slid in, you'd slide this bat in like that. The only thing is it can fall out so you're probably going to end up putting it this way or you might try to shove it in this way but i did notice something and i'm going to point out that these holes for whatever reason seem to be a little bit tighter for this bat so we'll uh hook this in like that well whatever We'll put that there and it seems a little bit more appropriate. Sorry, I keep going. I'm out of focus there. And then we'll open this one up. Not just out of focus, but it looks like I keep going out of frame too. I'm really close to the camera right now. And we'll hook this in. And that way this one stays. And it actually looks like you can get them to be in there kind of appropriate looking for how it looks like in the game. Now this is a figure that I've been extremely excited for since we discovered it, I don't know, gee, about a year ago, maybe eight months ago, it's been quite a while. And I do like the punk in game and how he looks in game. And I, when I saw this figure, I was kind of like, I don't know, he looks really long here and I didn't know how well that would translate. Well, it is interesting that I do have some disappointments. There are, he does look cool. First off, this figure looks good. Are there disappointments? Yes, there are. And one of those disappointments is this long middle area. It's very stiff and doesn't really, it's very difficult to rotate because the waist rotation is way down here. So we're gonna get a little bit personal with, with Mr. Punk. And if you can look in there, I don't know if I can uh, get this to where you can see it really well, but his waist area is like almost non-existent. It's very strange. It's like he's wearing some very skeletal underwear here. And this will rotate, but this whole little waist area is so weird. It's very weird how they designed it. I'm, I almost get McFarlane vibes with this figure. But that's what they did. Is he going to fall over? Is he going to stay up? I don't know. And so because of that, his center of balance or gravity is like much lower uh, than some of the other figures. He's about the same height as all those other figures. I don't know. It just it gives him a weird look. His head rotates around perfectly well. In fact, it pops off really easy. You can see it's a ball joint. That's all it is. I actually kind of wonder, on a side note, could we use this head on a Jazzwares Legendary Series Raven to create um, Hollowhead. That would be cool because I've been wanting a Hollowhead for quite some time and Jazzwares wasn't able to produce one before they lost the license to Hasbro and hopefully in the 4-inch form we'll get that. That's a kind of another side topic. Now this figure for me is a little bit stiff. Um, well, Actually while we're here, there's the splits and if you want him to sit, he, he, he looks funny. But 
he sits that well. So this figure is a little bit stiff. I can rotate the arms around just fine, but lifting them up, good golly, I can't lift them up without like grabbing and doing this. And you see, by doing that, this arm at the bicep rotation starts to want to pull away and pushing it down same thing it wants to pull away this is not an easy arm or an easy shoulder to rise raise up and down bicep rotation works just fine it better after getting loosened like that and then the elbow is very stiff as well there we go very stiff just like that but it has that kind of range now this center section does rotate around and move around quite nicely actually he leans forward about that far, leans back about that far, and you saw the side to side. It's not that bad. And then the right side is just as stiff as the other. The wrist has the rotation and a, what I would classify as a horizontal hinge. There are double pinless knees, which are almost just as stiff as elbow counterparts. And then those thigh rotations are there. There is a boot rotation, or is this a sock rotation? There is a hinge and a pivot at the ankle, and that is the articulation. Now I am noticing like right up here, there's like a bit of, uh, bit of orange overspray and all around that. And I don't remember if this is actually the game. I'll probably pop up an image of the game next to us here. And we could see if there's actually like overspray on this lower black portion, but I don't think that's the case. And it goes all the way back here. So the paint, it looks like maybe from this V, it just got oversprayed and maybe a little bit on this, cause this is almost kind of like a reddish color. So maybe it got orange, I don't know. Um, and the same here, the orange overspray. Again, you know, with closed boxes for all you people who don't like that kind of stuff and you can't see it, I'm sure you're not gonna be very pleased that you can't look at the figure in the box because, well, actually, I couldn't either. I got this at Walmart and picked them up for about 25 bucks. But yeah, you can't see what the figures look like. And generally, I don't care because I open the stuff up. But that's just a little bit, that's a little excessive, I would say, that overspray through that middle. So I like how he looks, but the the disappointment's real on this. There's a lot of, like, even the gun here, if you look at that, the the barrel here is kind of bent. You can fix that stuff, but I don't know. Ah, let's get his stiff arm up. Let's put this assault rifle in his hand there. So there is a punk, a pumpkin with an attitude. If you like Fortnite action figures with attitude, then check out my recent review of the limited edition Man Cake, the cake with no name action figure over on the right side.